Hey friends, how's it going and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can set up different environments for your Firebase project. So let's assume you have a project that's consuming the services of Firebase. Let's assume, you know, Firestore or maybe the real-time database. And you want to be able to test them uh, separately from the data that you have in production. So obviously you want to set up like a, a staging or a UAT environment as well as a production environment. All right, so you want to be able to toggle them. Obviously during development, you want to use the UAT staging one. And then when you finally, you know, push it up to the app store, you want to point to the production uh, um, database. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can do that over here with a simple demo project. Okay, so as you can see here, I have um, an empty project here, which is called Firebase Environments, and I've already installed um, the Firebase SDK, okay? So uh, I, I did that via Swift Package Manager. And behind this, I have two projects that I've created. One is called UAT Server, and the other one is called uh, Prod Server, okay? So this is to simulate the two different environments, okay? So as you can see, uh, inside the uh, real-time database, I've added some information on each of these uh, projects. I have a very simple key value pair over here. So over here, it says message. This is from staging database. And then on the prod server, it says this is from prod server. All right, so prod, it should be prod database. Okay, let me just change this. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how we can uh, integrate these two projects into your single uh, Xcode project and how we can toggle them using the build configuration. All right, when I talk about build configuration, I'm referring to this over here. So when you go to edit scheme, you're able to change this build configuration to toggle between the different environments. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is to uh, obviously set up your Xcode project and then uh, you want to download the info.plist file. So uh, in case you're wondering what that is, uh, this is the uh, Google service uh, dash info.plist file. All right, so I have already uh, downloaded both of them already from each of these projects and I, I have it over here. So if you see uh, the file location on desktop, uh, I have a, I have a random folder and inside it contains something called supporting files. Okay, so I decide to name my file structure this way. And inside supporting files, I have Firebase. And within Firebase, I have debug and release. And inside each of this folder contains the respective info.plist uh, file that corresponds to each of this project over here. All right, so I'm gonna show you how you can start um, integrating these two inside and switching them. So over here, this is completely blank except for you know installing the Firebase SDK. And inside my view controller, again, is completely blank as well. All right, so what you wanna do is to make sure that you prepare this uh, in the format that I've specified over here because I'm also gonna show, I'm gonna give you the script for you to toggle them, okay? So uh, once you have this over here, so I'm just gonna copy this inside here. So I want to ensure that copy items if needed is being checked. And the one thing that's very important is that I want to uncheck this add to targets, okay? Because if you are to uh, check both files with the similar name, when you build the project, Xcode is gonna complain that um, it's a problem because obviously you have two files with the similar name and Xcode will get confused. All right, so let's uh, remember to uncheck this, hit the finish button. And then uh, if you see over here, this is the structure, okay? So you want to ensure that when you click on either of this, this target membership should be unchecked, okay? If it's checked, then yet, then this is not gonna work. Okay, so let's uncheck this and let's uncheck this one as well. Okay, the next thing we wanna do is, uh, I'm gonna give you a script for you to run. And I got this script through some Medium um, um, article. I can't remember where that is, but I have added that into a, a git gist, so it's easy for you to copy them. So I have it over here, and I'm gonna leave this link inside the uh, description of this video. Okay, so what you wanna do is that you want to just uh, copy the entire thing here. Okay, and then let's, let's get back to Xcode. And what we wanna do is to add a, we call this like a build script. So come over to targets and then come to build phases over here and let's hit the uh, plus icon here. And then let's go with a uh, new copy file, files phase. Okay, so let's select this one and then um, let's expand this and let's, oh, is this the one? Let me see, uh, I think, oh, sorry, not this one, guys. It should be new run script phase. Okay, my bad. So this one over here and then you're gonna just paste the entire thing over here like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna change the name of this. Uh, okay, let me see if I can just close this. 
and double click on this to just change this. Let me just call this Firebase Environment Toggle. Okay, just like that. Okay, so now what I want to do is that I want to just hit the play button to run the simulator to ensure that uh, everything will compile successfully. Okay, so if we are to examine the script a little bit, you'll notice that over here, um, the supporting files, this is the folder structure. I have it over here, slash supporting files, Firebase release. And then if you come to the bottom over here, um, I think it's the same thing. Uh, do we have it over here? Um, oh, over here, supporting files, Firebase debug. Okay, so depending on the build configuration, it's going to go into that particular folder to get the info.plist file. Okay, it looks like everything is building correctly, which is great. So now we want to test to ensure that now uh, it's pointing to the right um, uh, backend or, or database, okay? So now what I want to do is that I have over here the um, real-time database uh, documentation. So I'm going to try to read the values inside the uh, real-time database from this key called message, okay? So both are the same, okay, from each of this uh, production and, and UAT servers. Okay, so the way to do this, okay, I think I have yet to configure Firebase yet, so let's do that real quickly. So Firebase, and then over here, I think it's a fire, Firebase app dot configure. Okay, I think that's what we need. Okay, so now let's go to the uh, view controller and I'm going to import Firebase database. So that would give me access to the uh, real-time database code. So what do I need to do? I need to use this uh, reference over here. So let me come here and then let me do this. Okay, so let's come to the read part, okay, which is here. So let me just call, let me just copy this and just um, paste this here as, as reference here. And then I can cut this out and paste this here. And for the child, it's going to be message, okay? because if you look over here, it's just message and message. So keeping this example very easy for you. Okay, I don't really need all of this stuff here, so I can get rid of this. And then what I'm really interested in is actually the snapshot value. So just print out snapshot dot value, okay? And I'm going to just remove this as well as this, and maybe just make this a little neater. All right, so just, Control I to indent this. And I will run the code right now. And let's see if we are seeing the, the correct messages from each of the uh, database, okay? So let's see. Okay, so over here, it says this is from staging database. Why is that so? It's because if I come to edit scheme, I'm on the debug build, all right? So right now, if I'm to change to release, and let's run this right now, I think, um, Xcode will take a while to compile, so let's just wait patiently for that to happen. All right, it's finally building, and let's hope that we are getting the right one. All right, so it says this is from Prod Database. Okay, so guys, I hope that this tutorial has been useful, and please find the link at the bottom of the video. Maybe I'll leave it in the comment section. And if you could help me, please leave a like, just hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you find this content useful. And also let me know what kind of content that you expect to see from this video so that you know maybe I can channel my efforts in the right place. All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.